everybody, my name is Karen Fire and welcome to a guide on Enshrouded. Today we head to the desert because we are looking for something really particular, which is iron. Now, one of the pain factors of getting to iron is the actual quest for it requires you to go into the deadly shroud if you haven't leveled up your flame altar yet. However, there's actually a place you can go that you don't need to go in the shroud at all to go and get iron, so you don't have to unlock that tier of flame altar. That place being the cave passage on the map, which is next to the caravan camp and an ancient obelisk. But the way you get to this area is you can walk either the, to the north or to the south. And there is this bridge, this land bridge here is what you're going to want to cross. And then if you come all the way over this way, all the way round, there is the ancient spire of Nomad Highlands fast travel point. That is the point you'll probably arrive at and then you'll go all the way around. You'll take the bridge and then you'll go to the cave passage. So this is where to get some easy iron without having to go into any shroud at all. This is a kind of area, there's like a little thing going on here. And we will be going into this cave right here today because inside we can find some iron. So if we go a little further in and stop right here. Here is iron! This is iron! This is what we're going to need to farm to be able to get some. So if you take your pickaxe, you have a good go at it, trying some iron, there you go, iron ore. Beautiful! The better your pickaxe as well, the more iron you will farm. For this instance, I have an iron pickaxe, so I'm going to farm quite a lot. But when I first found this, I just used a copper pickaxe and that worked just fine. You can also go further down into the cave for some more iron veins and a really big sulfur vein in here. I just wanted to give another map reference as well. This is the bottom of the cave you can enter through instead if the top is a bit too hard to reach. It's by a big rib cage and there's a quick map reference for you as well if you want to enter from that side. If you want another big location which could be a bit dangerous is actually the first area your quest to to go and get iron. You're heading down here. The quest requires you to go to Ridgeback Mine which is where you'll first discover iron if you haven't before. This location is just westerly of the Kindle Waste Fast Travel and quite a bit north from the Ancients by a Nomad Highlands Fast Travel. But either way, we'll be heading down here. I thought I'd just show it to you just in case you were interested in this kind of thing over here. Definitely be careful. We're going deep into the shroud to get to the mine below where we should be able to find some more iron for you guys. Just be careful of the uh, reaper bosses. They really suck. And you'll probably notice them the most because when we come down here, there will be like a little flower and everything. And that's where they'll be hanging out around. So as long as you avoid around there, you should be all right if you come to get iron. Or if you want to get rid of them, then they drop some very nice stuff as well. So we followed the road down. We're in the Ridgeback Mine. If we come up on the right side, do you see the flower there? That's the danger zone. But we can avoid it if we just go up the stairs. And we keep to the right-hand side, preferably. Here is another source of iron here, right by the campfire. See all of this stuff? Oh, and we have some friends. <laughs> you see that thing fly towards me right now, though? That's probably what you have to contend with if you do come here. So it's why it's not like the best spot to come for iron. Unless you're down for a challenge. These guys really suck if you fight them. They're like really, really bad. Next location we're going to will require you to unlock the tower in the Kindle Wastes. So you're going to need that before you go here. And you're going to need quite a decent glider to travel. You will have to upgrade your altar to go through the shroud to get to this temple, most likely uh, just to warn you on this one. As on the map, if we have a look around, you can see a lot of this is secluded off in the middle of the shroud. But ideally, if you've unlocked this, and this is for those who just want another iron spot, I think the first one I've shown you is the absolute best spot you can go to uh, out of this video. But for those that want an additional spot, if maybe you know you've unlocked some things and you just want to fast travel, fast travel to here and go to the east. I've marked it with a waypoint, which I highly recommend you do in this game. It helps with directions. But let's go straight over there. It's right like near the corner of the map. And it's a really good spot if you've unlocked this fast travel and you just want to collect some iron because you glide all the way down to it. And it's beautiful because that's all the effort you have to do. Uh, so and then you can just fast travel home, which is lovely. So that's why I kind of recommend this spot as like the last one because it's easy this way. We're going down. There's a nice little uh, spot you can revive at if you need it. But we are heading straight here where this cave is. 
So the location, we go down. And in the cave should be some more iron. There we go. Beautiful. So here's your iron spot. You go ahead and farm it from here. Lovely, lovely iron. And you didn't even have to put that much effort into getting here because you just glided down from the top. So there we go. And that's all the iron I could get today, I suppose. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out and shown you some really good iron spots that are not so precarious like the middle one I shown you. I hope it's been helpful and you've enjoyed this video today. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.